Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in, bonus energy check-in for Leo. This is going to be for the rest of your March 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the rest of the month. And then we'll take a look and see what you got, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, keep in mind that these aren't general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when it go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Leo, tell me about Leo here. Energy check in for Leo. Oprah energy for Leo for the um, rest of the March 2024. For Leo. For Leo. What's going on with Leo? Energy check in for Leo. Over energies for Leo for the second half of their March. Second half, the rest of their March, I'm sorry. With the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Eh, there could be new beginnings that's happening here for you guys, okay? I mean, seems like you guys are definitely moving towards a, a, a passion of yours that you want to pursue here. I mean, this could be, you know, starting a new business. This could be starting like kind of like a creative a, 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 a venture or something like that. But whatever this is, this is happening quick. This is moving very fast. And I feel like, you know, uh, whatever you're pursuing here can be very, 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 very successful here. Okay. So we have the two of wands. Okay. Lots of wands energy here. We have the king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like you guys have definitely have some big plans here. But also, there's a lot of decisions that you guys have to make here when it comes to this new thing that you're starting, okay? So with the King of Swords, you know, this King of Swords is a woman and a man with a plan here, with the Hierophant Taurus energy. I mean, some of you guys could be turning to someone here for advice when it comes to this new thing that you're starting here. Some of you guys could be working with like a business consultant. Some of you guys could be working with like a financial advisor here, okay? So uh, we have the Ten of Wands here. Make sure you slow down here, Leo, because some of you guys could be moving a bit too fast. I know that, you know, you know, it's nice to get things done quickly, accomplish things quicker, but you can't force something to happen when it's quite not ready to happen yet. No, I do believe that sometimes when you do rush, you tend to make mistakes here. But, you know, this is about pa being patient. You know, this is about being patient here. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people in the world need to work on their patience here with the Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands here, and the Two of Swords, okay. Yeah, you have some big decisions to make here. Yeah, and I feel like you're definitely feeling a bit worried here. It's interesting, I almost feel like it's the energy of like, I'm biting off more than I could chew here, you know? Because I feel like you're going too fast. And I do feel like you need to slow down here, okay? And I do feel like the plan needs to be planned out more accordingly so that you can execute that plan here. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Nine of Pentacles here. I do feel like it's going to lead to financial success here, whatever this is. I just feel like you just need to take a step back and sort of like slow down here a little bit. Because I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you guys are definitely going to overwhelm yourself here. With the Star card here, this is an indication that, you know, whatever you're doing here, this could be something that's really public. You know, a lot of people are going to see this. So I don't know if it's like a social media thing that you guys are doing here or that you guys could start a business here and you could be blasting it in social media here and it could be very successful here. Okay. So I do feel like when it comes to social media posting, that needs to be planned out accordingly too. Okay. So what else do we have here for Leo. What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on. You know that star card be, could be a representation. Is that you're stepping into work where this is your calling in life here, you know? We have the uh, Justice card, Libra energy. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the hangman, Piscean energy. 
We have the Five of Swords and also the Nine of Wands here, okay? I mean, there could be someone here that you're trying to separate from. Uh, it could be a toxic relationship that you're dealing with here, a narcissistic relationship that you're dealing with here. I do feel like you're trying to free yourself from this double energy, and I feel like you guys will. Yeah, I feel like you guys will, but one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like you're trying to surrender, you guys are surrendering to the process here, okay? And I feel like you guys are just naturally letting things unfold as it should. Not that you're not doing anything. You're planting the seeds here. You are taking action here. But sometimes you just have to let things unfold as it should. Try not to worry about it too much. Try not to think about it too much. Live your life and stuff like that. Don't let it run your life, okay? So tell me the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? Justice card and the Five of Pentacles here. Interesting. We have the Lovers. Why is the Lovers here? And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I mean, you could be in this process of releasing and clearing karma at this time here. So, Leo, you have a lot going on. Yeah, you have a lot going on. It could also be an indication that the karmic wheel is turning in your favor here, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely going through, like, a huge transformation, a major change here. You guys are definitely going through, like, a bit of a transitional period where I feel like you guys are going to transition to this, like, new chapter in your life or to this new version of yourself here, okay? With the hangman here and the king of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups here. So what's happening here is I feel like you guys are definitely overcoming a hard karmic cycle that you guys have been through here. And I feel like through this process here, I feel like you guys have gone through some sort of major breakthrough here. If you guys have been very confused, I feel like you guys are more clear about your path than you were ever before. So I feel like that's why you guys are starting this new thing here. Like I said, whether it's like starting a new business, you know, starting some sort of creative venture here, you know, even like going back to school or something like that, you know, because I feel like you guys are in this energy of like with the pages here and also the um, hangman, you guys are absorbing a lot of knowledge at this time, a lot of wisdom here. And I feel like it's bringing upon breakthroughs here. It's bringing clarity into your life. It's bringing happy, happiness into your life. It's bringing, uh, bringing a sense of calm where you guys are not worrying about like mindless things that's not serving you in this very present moment here, you know? So I feel like this is you, this is about you lear learning to live more presently in the moment here and really enjoying living, living in the moment and instead of worrying about the past or the present here but you know i do feel like you know if there's been unhealthy attachments you know or any sort of like past karma i do feel like a lot of that's being clear cleared out here um you know i do feel like you guys are definitely going through some sort of spiritual transformation and i feel like really great things are happening for you guys at this time and i feel like you guys are definitely trying to seize or take advantage of it, okay? So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Yeah, with the full card here. You're definitely enjoying new experiences here. Um, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.